everybody and welcome to back to my channel um thank you for watching on youtube instagram facebook wherever you are like comment subscribe react you know the deal you know the drill everybody so at least i hope you do and we can get started so basically today is just a little it's an anti-haul it's an unhaul it is a makeup purge in What's the way? Decluttering. I'm getting rid of a lot of makeup that's either too old or that I know I'm not going to use because if it's been sitting in my collection as long as it has, then it's not, after a certain period of time, you just got to cut your losses and be like, okay, let's be realistic. I'm not even done, but I just can't. I'm just, you know, not gonna spend the whole day decluttering it. I just don't, I don't have time like that. So I, I got a lot accomplished, so that's good. This one, this is just Urban Decay All Nighter. I only got rid of this cause it's got like a drop left. So that's nice. Other face makeup. I got MAC Dazzle Drops. So it's supposed to be like an illuminator or whatnot. And I should have known like looking at it that it wasn't gonna work with my complexion. This looks like my friend's face in a bottle, not my face. So we're gonna say goodbye to you because that was just me not thinking. Why did I get that? I don't know. There are, uh, there are so many other illuminators and highlighters out there that was just not even necessary. <laughs> and I got, you'll see a lot of different stuff. This is um, all my bronzers I gave a, giving away because the bronzers are my skin color. We have the opposite problem. They blend right in. Whoever told me I needed bronzer was a liar. <laughs> so I just didn't want to get rid of them because some of them were gifts and they like these are really expensive, like the Long Coleman Estee Lauder ones. But guess who's getting rid of them? Me. Bye. All the bronzers are going. Bye. Bye. I'm getting rid of some blushes as well. This phase zero blush might be fine, but I'm, I don't know, I'm just over it. I don't care. I've had this little NARS orgasm blush for the longest time, this little sample. I think I really wanted to like it. I wanted to like it, I did try. I really wanted to like it just cause I thought the name was so cool. Or so, you know, fun, playful, whatever you want to call it. Like, oh, but that's not, it's not it. This is not it y'all. This is, it reminds me of the Better Than Sex Tooth Face Mascara that um, came out a while ago. Uh, like the I don't have the old bottle I should have kept it but I like just like the bottle I solely like the bottle like the waterproof bottle it had like the little droplets on it like you just came out of the shower or something like that it was such unique and smart packaging like it just looks so cool and so nice but that wasn't enough to save it gone that one's long gone uh the laura geller baked bronze i think this was a gift with purchase what i thought i was gonna do with this i have no idea there are a lot of there's a lot of you know i'm not gonna be able to or i'm not gonna buy some new stuff because new makeup because you know 
during COVID, it's not safe to, it's not sanitary to do actual swatches in the store and put your finger in the eyeshadow palette and do the try me test. Like that's just, that's a thing of the past. I don't know if we'll ever get back to doing that, but it's kind of unfortunate for me other people of color in a sense. Thankfully, there's so many more products out there now for people of all different types of complexions, but a lot of these products that they be selling are ashy. Ashy. Like how? Just, you catch my drift. I also, this, was, this is a fun thing. I use this. I have a few of these. They're so pretty to me. They are mascara wands, old mascara wands that I took out and I'm gonna use as to prep my eyebrows. I'm gonna use it as a spoolie to brush my eyebrows when I'm prepping them before I put product on them. So that was a nice thing, you know, so they weren't a complete waste of money. <laughs> I think this one it was a gift, Mystic Green Eyeliner. What was I thinking? I bought this. This is a lip, metallic lip that I would never wear out. So I was gonna use it as an eyeshadow, but I think it was already a little bit old when I bought it. It was like on clearance. And it's been a year or two now, so it's, it's gotta go. Oh, it's unfortunate. I think this would have been a good mascara if I used it um, when I had first gotten it. Well, technically this is, um, was this a gift with, I think this might have been a gift with purchase. It was either a gift with purchase or one of those fall faves things that they, fall faves, favorites kits that they create like uh not buxom but the other it's the other um brand smashbox i got a couple of things from there that were they were just like i guess the favorite products in that brand amongst you know customers like best rake reviewed and whatever and they put those into a little kit gift box gift set yeah these Lancome black they're mascaras high definition mascara face seals I I guess I waited too long because trash I say louder sumptuous knockout this was a Kamit mascara. This was a tester, tester, four week supply of Grande Lash MD's Lash Enhancing Serum. So the mascara that it came in that little set is still good, but anything else is not. God, it's such a mess over here. Elizabeth Arden Mascara by this is an old line, liner that I was using as brow pencil. It's lost its whatever. This is a duo clear gel, clear gel, clear individual lash adhesive by, you know, it's going to be a while until I wear, use individual lashes again. There's such a pain in the butt to do yourself. Man, should I try this? I just feel uncomfortable using th anything other than a beauty blender. I'm gonna think about it. I'll think about it. Wet in Wild could draw eyeliner in deep blue. Goodbye. 
and oh my gosh, things are spilling. It's a hot mess. This lip crayon that I was never going to wear as a lip by just like that um, purple lipstick, infallible liquid lipstick in this metallic purple color. I thought it was going to be a bomb eyeshadow, but I think I only used it like once. This is like a gift with purchase, one of those little sample things. I don't even remember. I don't even remember what brand it is. That's when you know it's, it needs to go. Wet and Wild Color Icon Eyeliner. I was using it as an eyebrow pencil and now that I've, I, my eyebrows are completely upgraded and I know have an idea of the best products for it now, it's going into the trash can. Speaking of eyebrows, this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the color Dark Brown by because <laughs> that was another one where I really tried to like it. I really tried because there was so much hype from it and it was really dead set on getting a number seven um, eyebrow brush and angled eyebrow brush and spoolie on that Anastasia Beverly Hills had. They were of course out of it when I came to get it and I but I needed to like get my eyebrow game up step it up ASAP and that's what I wanted. So I ended up getting the Benefit Brow Brush and you see, I have had this for a while and it's still really good. Nothing else brushes up quite like it. Like, it's neat y'all. You know, there are some things that you can use for a while if you're not sharing them, because that's nasty. Don't share your makeup. And you're you're sanitizing it. You're spraying that little makeup remover or beauty cleansing spray. I what is this called? There's like a brush spray from the Elf has a brush cleaner. So, sanitize that makeup and those tools. Smashbox. This came in like a favorites kit of sorts. <laughs> Let me in. Let me open you up. Ooh, can I keep this little mirror? It's a brand new mirror, y'all. No, it's so, uh, this is spotlight palette. It could work, but I'm just not going to. I'm in search of a new um, highlighter because mine's out on its way out. And I really don't like the texture of that one. It does a good job, but I'm not a big fan of how it goes on my face. It just comes on as powdery that makes sense because it's kind of like a powder form but I've seen <sighs> highlighters glide just glide on your skin before and look sm like smooth and give you that like dewy look mine doesn't really do that but it does a good job um I'm not wearing it I'm not wearing any like foundation or any highlighter contour face makeup today I just I wanted to mention that this is going, this is going to, this was a strobe radiating palette. Why I thought I was going to use that, don't ask me because I don't know. This was from a favorites um, gift set. The Smashbox eyeshadow. Smashbox eyeshadow. Then there's this, what's the tea from the Balm Cosmetics eyeshadow Bye. And this one, I'm not sure about yet. This may be going, it's the foiled liquid lipstick from MAC, like the retrograde. Just 
doesn't look good on me. It's like, dang it. <laughs> I just don't know what to wear with it. So, that is it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new or you were just entertained for 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, before I leave this uh, retro matte liquid lipstick in the color Lady Be Good, I got it last year or a year and a half ago. My friend convinced me to get it because at first I looked at it and I'm like, oh, I want that, but it's not going to look good on me. And she's like, no, you can make it work. And she was right. I put on brown lipstick before and I put this on as a little enhancer afterwards. So that's all. You can use old stuff. <laughs> After all. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.